This little calculator is called the Multical. It's also known as the Multator. It was made by Otto Meuter Unsohn. And Otto Meuter is the man who was responsible for the rise of the uh, Tronce type uh, adder, the slide adder, in the 1920s. He made some improvements and patented those in 1918 and licensed or sold those, that patent to Carl Kubler, who founded the Adiator Company. Otto Meuter himself uh, founded his own company and also um, yeah, started producing these slide adders under the brand name Products with an X. And yeah, he also designed the Corentator and the Procalculo slide adders. So he was responsible for uh, yeah, the, the rise of those slide adders in the 1920s. In around 1940, he uh, designed this machine together with Rudolf Martin. And this is a really incredibly ingenious design. Because of the slide adders, uh, they, those were made with pressed metal parts from, from metal sheet. He designed this so that it could also be made with the same kind of machinery. So it does not have any uh, cleverly in, yeah, complicated uh, machined parts like a pinwheel machine. Instead it uses a, a geared segment. So it, it looks like a, a pinwheel machine but it uses a, a geared segment mechanism. If you turn the crank, the input you've, you've entered uh, gets added to the main register. You can read off the input in these little windows here. As you can see, the carriage moves upwards so that the wheels engage with the rest of the mechanism and then get added. These uh, toothed segments move the wheels and then when the carriage uh, disengages, those segments uh, return to their original positions internally. The carriage has one long register of 15 digits, so you can use, uh, do very large ca calculations on them, but you can also split this register uh, by using the top five digits as a counter. To do that you flip this uh, upwards to, to one, so now every time you turn the crank one gets added here, causing these five digits to be the counter. You do have to be careful not to cause an overflow from the, the last digit here into the counter, because there is no carry suppression here. It's still essentially one long register, you're just using these digits as a counter. You can move the carriage with this knob here. And so on. Unfortunately there is no subtraction, um, at least not by just turning the, the crank in the opposite direction. Instead you have to use complementary digits. There is a later version of the Maltator, the Maltator 4, in which this, uh, yeah, this lack has been uh, fixed, but on these earlier versions you still have to use the complementary digits. So to subtract, for example, 123, you have to set this to the small digit 3, and this to 2, and this to 1. And because we've got uh, already five digits in use here, you have to um, add some leading zeros. And also you have to switch this to subtraction mode. That uh, takes care of adding an extra one to make to turn this, uh, this complementary, this nines complement into a tens complement. You have to ignore this overflowing one here that uh, 
yeah, you just have to ignore that. There's nothing. There's no carry suppression buttons on this machine. There's no way to get rid of that one. There is a really interesting uh, thing with this uh, mechanism, and that is that it has back transfer for free. There are no extra parts for this back transfer mechanism. It just, uh, yeah, you can just do it by turning the crank slightly to connect up the, the carriage, the register to the mechanism, and clear it, and that's automatically then pushes the input pins back to the amount that you've just cleared out of the register. So that's an amazing design that uh, yeah, gives you back transfer for free. So th this machine was made from, uh, well the first versions of this machine were made in 1954 they had a, a shorter front with a, a small knob to, to move the carriage. Uh, this, this version came in two years later, in 1956, it was made till about 1966. And the later version, the product, the Maltator uh, 4, that uh, went on for a few more years after that, until the late, uh, the end of the 1960s. So this was the uh, Multical or Maltator made by Otto Meuter und Sohn. Thank you for watching.